Welcome to the boyhood home of President Jimmy Carter. Uh, this is the location where, as a young boy, President Carter grew up. He actually was not born out here. He was born in the hospital up in Plains called the Wise Sanitarium. But from the age of four until about the age of 17, this is the house and the farm where President Carter grew up. Georgia is, is a very good climate to grow uh, many different crops. Of course, Jimmy Carter was known as a peanut farmer while he ran for the President of the United States. And of course, that was one of the crops that the Carters grew here on the farm. Now, peanuts are a very unique plant where they flower above the ground, but yet produce below the ground. This one seed right here did all of that. Peanuts are still the number one crop here in the state of Georgia. And the reason the peanut crop was so important during the time that President Carter lived out here was that uh, it is a very, it's a natural source of nitrogen. And cotton takes a lot of nitrogen out of the, out of the uh, soil and peanuts put a lot of nitrogen back in. Uh, Earl Carter, who was President Carter's father, was one of the first farmers in this area to implement uh, peanuts in his crop rotation. Uh, they had planted cotton in the same fields for so many years that the yield had depleted. But when he started rotating the, the peanuts in his uh, crops, of course he had the nitrogen added back to the soil. He, his cotton increased in, in production, but yet he got another cash crop from the peanuts. And of course, uh, as I mentioned before, President Carter was known as a peanut farmer and uh, he has been dealing with peanuts for a very long time. One reason it became such a, a popular uh, thing here in the South was uh, during the Depression years, uh, roasting peanuts was, uh, was very expensive. Not everyone could afford a roaster. And so people generally had a pot of water in a fire. And so they started boiling the peanuts and, and it just became a novelty in this area. When uh, Jimmy Carter was about six years old, his father would allow him to go out into the fields this time of year when the peanuts were ripe. And he would pull up the peanuts by hand, uh, bring them back to the house, and then he would pick the peanuts off and, and wash them very thoroughly and then let them soak in water overnight uh, and, and add salt to that water to, to add a little flavor to the peanut. Uh, the next morning he would get up early, he would build a fire very similar to the one I have here and he would boil those peanuts, and it typically takes between an hour, hour and a half to boil the peanuts to get them to the consistency that you would like. And uh, once they were ready, he would sack them up in small little sacks and put them in his wagon and walk along the uh, side of the railroad track to the town of Plains where he would sell those small sacks of peanuts. He would make about 20 bags. He would sell them for a nickel a bag. And during that uh, Saturday morning, he would make a dollar selling his peanuts, which was very significant during that time because that's what a grown man would make out here at the farm working from sun up to sundown. So at an early age, his father taught him to be a businessman by uh, boiling the peanuts and selling them. 